not incorrect. That's the fact. No, no, no. You can argue with the fact. I right. watch me. Okay. okay. <laughs> so. So. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, everybody like mentioned their book. It's time for me to mention my latest book. It's I don't think anyone mentioned their book actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My most recent book is titled Space Chronicles, but that wasn't the original title. The original title was Failure to Launch. But the the Dreams and Delusions of Space Enthusiasts. And the publisher says, oh, that's too, oh, that's too depressing. You can't have the word failure in your title. It's, but that's what it's about. What you just said is a complete delusion. It presumes that we went to the moon for science. It no. presumes that we went to the moon to explore it. But that's not why we went no. to the moon. We no, Brother moon. Neil, no, it is not. <laughs> no, it is not. We went to the moon because we were at war. Sputnik was not just some orbiting spacecraft. It was a hollowed out intercontinental ballistic missile where they took out the warhead and put in a radio transmitter. The military knew this. That's what founded NASA. NASA's budget for science has it averaged over all these years about 25%. The rest has been for geopolitical purposes, all right? So it's the I don't want to die driver in this world. That's why we spent all this money. And so the moment we learn Russia's not going to the moon and it's certainly not going to Mars, we cancel the program. It had nothing to do with public interest. Okay, now let me... It, 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 is, it is a... Let, let me try. I, I got to pull let, back. Yeah, you got to come in. But, but it is. A, uh, let me try and bridge that gap a little bit. I'm going to be uh, silent. Uh, um, no, you're not. <laughs> um, but uh, the, I think it's really important to point to point out that this is a political issue. And in fact, I, I, I me and Buzz Aldrin together so testified before the House Ex Science Committee on Space Exploration. And I, uh, when I said that that humans don't do science in space, I didn't argue. In fact, even before the committee that. We shouldn't send humans into space. We should just say well, honestly why we're doing it. We're doing it for adventure. That's why we're doing it. No, but that's honest, not what funded hold it. Hold on, hold on. A no, that's, that's not true. So you said no, you wouldn't talk. But, yeah, I did but, say that. Okay, okay. You, you can say that. No, no, but it's, hold it's on. No, there's, there's no there there, okay? <laughs> there, no, just, just, just look at the history of everybody no, no. doing big projects, and it's never driven by exploration. It's never driven by science. It's never driven by curiosity. Not if it's big and expensive. It's driven by the fact that people don't want to die. So there's a war driver. It's also driven by the fact that people want to get wealthy. So no, there's no, a hold money on. We have the large, apply the large Hadron Collider. The Large Hadron Collider. The Large Hadron Collider. Do you know? Oh, no. <laughs> no. This proves my point. Yeah, this this proves the point. Large Hadron <laughs> Collider. Uh, please remind me of the total construction cost of the Large Hadron Collider. I don't know, about 10 billion. About 10 billion. That is six months of NASA funding. So you call that big budget? Not here in America, it's not. Yeah, NASA's budget's about 17 billion. Doesn't go as far as it used to. No. So, so it's expensive, but not on the scale that we're talking about here. Okay. Well, the country shared that. That's, that's not big money. Okay. Big that, money is a shuttle mission costs a billion dollars here. One I'm not saying half. it should cost that, but that's one what and it and does. Half. And what, who, who writes those checks? It's people who do it for geopolitical reasons, not because they care about science. Our super collider, the one that you would have benefited from, the, sup <laughs> the superconducting super collider, <coughs> started to get funding in the 1980s. Wasn't it? 200 yeah. mile ring? It would have been. No, it would 60, 60 mile ring. 60 mile down up to the circumference. 60, 60 miles around, yeah. I thought it was 60 times. Well, take high. it from me, it's 60. High? No, no, it's 60. Okay. It's better story with 200, 200 then. Brian? 60. 60. 60. Circumference? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, I've been saying it wrong all these years. Well, like Never mind. Of Thank you. Never yeah. mind. Okay, no. So watch, watch. So here's a super collider. We. America would have found the Higgs boson decades ago, all right? So what happens? The budget gets cut for reasons, oh, the cost overruns, right? excuse me, okay? Yeah, it got cut in the early 90s. What happened in 1989? Peace broke out in Europe. All of a sudden, the physicist, who was the hero of the 20th century for making the bomb, is no longer viewed as necessary to national security. And so the 
the project gets cut like that. Actually, you got it wrong. The project got cut actually for even sillier political That's reasons, right. which was the Texas congressional delegation voted the wrong way. And, the, and if we were still at war, that would have never come up. Okay. It's also the International Space Station, right? I mean, yes, yeah, that's, that's true. That's, that's, that's the top story. The bottom story is okay. we don't longer think Look, we're going to die. Okay. So what we've, let, let's leave this topic, but science and politics are, alas, inextricably mixed. And we, I think... And politics wins And every time. I think what, what I would say is that it's vitally important for the public to understand what their issues really are so they won't be lied to by the politicians effectively and they can do, elect people to, to base policy on empirical evidence and not on ideology or anything else. Good story. Human now, tell story. Now.